Righto, welcome back to another video. This week's been pretty good on the like the training front. I've pretty much been on the road bike every single day this week. I did one gravel ride, but pretty much everything's been on the roadie. I'm slowly getting back into like proper scheduled training, so I've been on the roadie most of the time. I rode the gravel bike the other day, so we've got the roadie in here, the gravel bike in here, we've got the GT40 in here. We've also got my custom painted um, giant Trinity TT bike as well. Then what better way to start this video than to add the fifth bike to my collection. Um, I've got the group set for it, I've got the wheels for it, and the frame. So we are actually going to be building up the Sintesi Vertigo. This is the frame here, it actually came with the shop. It was sitting upstairs in like the attic when I brought the shop. It's got a um, old Gerace alloy seat post. It's got ITM bar and stem. So it's got all the old parts. The only carbon on this bike is it's got a carbon uh, carbon two fork up here and the rest of it is steel. It's a pretty sick, ooh. It's a pretty sick looking old frame. Now a lot of the viewers are gonna think that I'm gonna build this up as a retro and like put an old Gerace group set on it and you are completely wrong and I hope you don't get triggered. I've got a slightly better idea. Well, I think it's better. I'm gonna try and mix the old frame with all of the new gear. So I've got carbon wheels for it. I've got an electronic group set for it and basically everything on it, I want to be new and like refreshed. So basically all like the new 21st century um, electronic gearing and carbon wheels and like bigger tires and stuff on the old frames. Like mix the old with the new. So group set wise, I picked this up the other day. I also posted it on my Instagram. So if you want any sneak peeks or like behind the scenes of the videos of what's coming up, definitely um, give me a follow down there. So I picked up this full SRAM Red ETAP group set. It's the second generation one. Obviously it is a rim brake um, group set, but this is basically what I picked up. So yeah, the original owner obviously kept everything in the nice boxes, which is pretty cool. It's only done a few thousand K. So we've got obviously the left shifter, the right shifter, the front derailleur, rear derailleur, battery charger. And I'm pretty sure this is like a USB to do firmware updates and stuff. So inside the big box, there's just basically a whole bunch of identical little boxes. We've obviously got our shifters, our derailers and everything. I still have a few bits and bobs I need to order for the um, bike build. I've got some calipers on their way, I've got a seat post, I've got um, I've got headset cups and bearings, I've got a bottom bracket in it, and then other than that, I've got a chain and then pretty much everything else I should have at the shop. So pretty much, it's just like a mini group set that I ordered. It's um, obviously been ridden before, but it is in pretty good condition. As you can see, the shifter, there's not too many scratches. I think maybe a little bit on the R there, but other than that, still working pretty good. Even still flashes. Yeah, obviously with this group set, it is um, completely wireless. So these obviously connect to the front and rear derailleurs, and then they've got these little batteries as well that you put in them, and they're also interchangeable as well. So if one goes flat, you can take one out of the back and put it in the front. But yeah, everything seems to be in pretty good nick. As you can see, that even the front derailleur is in pretty good condition. So it's gonna be a pretty sick little build. Alright, so that's as much as I can do today to kind of like give you a visual representation of like what the bike is going to look like. These are the wheels I'm going to put on it. These are the Loon 60s. They look absolutely sick on this frame with some like massive deep dish wheels. We already may have come across a problem. I've only got 25s in there and there's absolutely no clearance in the front. So I might have to drop that to a 23. And then for the rest of the bike, I am going to be keeping this Durace original um, seat post because it's absolutely sick in the chrome. I'm going to be keeping the chrome bars, the chrome stem. And I'm going to try and find a chrome crank for it as well. Just because I think that's going to tie the whole bike together with all the little chrome pieces kind of like make it original. And then with the SRAM Red ETAP at the front, I'm gonna cut that stirrer and then let me know in the comments below, do I wrap the bar tape white or black? I'm actually a little bit torn at the moment. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not gonna be riding this bike a hell of a lot. It's more just kind of like a, a video project bike and I might do a few crits on it because I just wanna see how stiff the old steel bikes were. Oh, and that's another thing with the bottle cages. Do we put like old fashioned like chrome bottle cages on there to kind of like accent all the stem and the seat post? So 
so yeah that's pretty much as far as we're going to get for today that's all the bits and bobs that we've got we've still got a lot of stuff coming i've got a really 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 expensive saddle coming probably one of the most expensive saddles i've um, seen on the market i've ordered that for this bike to kind of give it some oomph as well but yeah if there's anything that you guys think that this frame needs or this build needs that's going to make this bike look even more sick definitely let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you think about this next build we haven't actually done a bike build in a while i think the last one we actually did was my cannondale which was like well over six months ago so we are definitely due for a bike build we've got this to do and then we've got the chapter two to do after this we've got this bike build to do we've got the group set and everything pretty much ready for the chapter two build as well so everything's slowly coming along Easy ride, done and dusted. It's all up on my Strava. If you don't follow me on Strava, I've almost got 2,000 followers on there. Woohoo! But yeah, just 60 minutes easy, 180 watts average. So yeah, pretty much in the small chain ring the whole way, which is pretty easy. But yeah, that is going to wrap up today's video. Um, let me know any suggestions for the Sintesi build um, down below in the comments. I think it's going to be a pretty sick bike. And let me know some video ideas that we can do with the steel frame. Maybe we can go KOM hunting with it. I think I'm estimating that it's going to weigh maybe close to 9, 10 kgs. It's going to be quite a lot heavier than like a normal carbon road bike. So it could be fun to do some stuff on it. So yeah, let me know some ideas down below for the build and what videos we can do with it. And if you haven't liked this video already, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already.